Hi, everybody. I'm Owen McCall, and I'm here with Zach Jarrell, driver of the number 18 car in the Pro Late Model Division at the New Smyrna Speedway. Well, first question I would like to ask, in all your years of racing, um, what would you say is your proudest career moment? Uh, that would probably be split into um, last year, I, or the 2014, um, I had... I won the the Naughty Memorial race and um, uh, the actual the actual day he passed, uh, and um, that was very special to have his family here. Um, it was a 25 lapper, but what the race meant to me and to everyone who was here, uh, it it was just very uh, emotional. It was an emotional victory lane celebration. So, of all the championships and everything, I'd have to say winning uh, the the day the Naughty passed was probably one of the biggest wins of my career. I'll bet it was, and his presence is still felt here with the 9Z stickers all over the track. Um, so uh, just tell us a little bit about what you do out outside of racing. Um, you majored in marketing at UCF, and just tell us a little bit about you know what you do outside of racing. Well, aside from running the race team, day-to-day uh, -day operations at the shop, and uh, searching for sponsorships and doing uh, promotional events, uh, I, I ended up... And going to UCF, and I was a marketing major in poli sci minor. I just graduated in May, and uh, so looking for a big corporation, and uh, kind of on the job hunt hard now. Uh, but uh, other than that, it's doing a little bit of flying. Um, one of my flight instructors is actually on my pit crew, and so I just ended up getting my seaplane license. I've been a private pilot since 2012, so um, I'm having a good time with that. But uh, just graduated, so on the job hunt. That's actually really pretty cool that you're um, a pilot. Um, so what's it like being an owner-driver? Hard. If I had to put it in one word, it's hard. Um, the, the new way race teams are going all across the country, especially the short track programs, is kind of the rent-a-car programs. Uh, you know, you have race car solutions down there who just are awesome here at New Smyrna Speedway. Uh, every car they seem to put out there is awesome. And uh, but you know you're starting to see a little less and less of an owner driver, uh, family te family owned teams. Um, they still exist, and you know some of them do have uh, some success. Uh, but we we found it's very difficult to go out and find the sponsorship, and uh, keep keep the team afloat, and uh, also work on the car ourselves. Well, um, with with your degree in marketing, at UCF, um, and your political science minor, just some um, may you please just tell us a little bit of some of your professional goals. Well, I'm definitely, um, I've worked for a few of my sponsors in the past, worked for a few companies, done uh, some promotions for them, done a little bit of marketing and advertising, uh, planned some events for them. And so I'm, I'm looking to get with, within a big corporation. I uh, have a couple promising leads coming up, and, uh, but I, I do end up wanting to be in a marketing department of probably a Fortune 500 company. Very good goal, actually, um, Fortune 500 companies. Um, just shift the focus back to racing. Um, even though you're running a partial schedule this year, uh, I checked the point standings this morning. You're eighth in the points. Uh, you've got to feel pretty good about that. Oh, I, I, I actually just checked last week. I was pretty surprised to see that. Um, I think that's a testament to see, uh, just to the cost of racing and um, to kind of what it takes to run a full season. Um, I ran full season the last two years. We won the championship last year in 2015, which was amazing. But it, it takes so much time, energy, and, and resources along with uh, sponsorship funds to do that. And so that's why I think uh, you only see you don't see too many cars running full season anymore. So that's what I, I kind of figure is the reason I'm sitting eighth in points right now and I've missed two races. Yeah, I mean, I have heard it's pretty expensive to run a team. I mean, I take a look... Um, I don't, I don't buy anything, but I sometimes take a look at the classifieds on a websites like Racing Junk, and even cars that are missing, like the motor and the transmission and the late models, are still pretty expensive. Yeah, I mean, you know, the car itself, um, it isn't too bad. It's the the weekly maintenance on it, and um, trying to keep up with the Joneses per se is, uh, you know, it's kind of like a cell phone. I describe it as when you figure, when you when you think you got the latest and greatest, and you finally put it on your car, and you go out and test, and you look over the next guy, and he has the next best thing out. So um, it's constantly changing. So um, who is your inspiration, and uh, what inspired you to race? Well, um, I had, uh, I'm from New York. My family's from New York, and uh, I had an aunt in New York that uh, her and my uncle were huge NASCAR fans and back in the 90s, and uh, I was really, I, every time I visited them, we'd, we'd always watch the races, and they pushed me to be a really huge Jeff Gordon fan. And uh, I ended up getting through it, and uh, love the shirt, by the way. It's awesome. And uh, he's back at Indy today, so, yeah. or this weekend. Uh, 
<laughs> but uh, but I, I'm excited to see him back. Uh, but uh, he actually had a hand in uh, pushing me to get started in quarter midgets. And uh, so it, it, it awesome story. And um, but between Jeff Gordon and my, my family, it started me in racing. And uh, you're pitting next to the quarter midget track where your racing career began. So nice little shout out to the start. Um, so just what, what is the future of your racing career? Well, uh, we're, we're pretty happy with the way this year's turned out as far as sponsorship. Uh, we have cut back to the races about once a month instead of about once every two to three weeks. And, uh, you know, that, that has to do with, you know, me finishing up school, um, you know, going into the workforce and as well as, uh, sponsorship. Um, we seem that we cut back our races to put a little bit more resources into the car and we're actually running a little bit better now that we're not out here every week and spending all of our resources just making it to the racetrack. So I'll probably just keep doing this uh, year after year in the next couple of years. Uh, we're trying to work out a deal in the Camping World Truck Series. Uh, we're going to see how that pans out. But um, as far as uh, the next couple of years, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, probably race about once a month. Well, here's to hoping you get the uh, Truck Series deal because, admittedly, uh, we love the Truck Series, and we're actually kind of surprised that NASCAR doesn't do a lot more promotions with it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, looking at the attendance of racetracks lately uh, on TV and what the trucks used to be compared to today as far as uh, a fan following and everything, a little disappointing. I love trucks. I used to race trucks here at New Smyrna Speedway. I used to run the, the touring series uh, when they toured at all the tracks here, and I loved it. I wish they still raced trucks here. I'd probably be getting in one. Uh, but that's probably why I would, I would push to go to the truck series just because of everything I've ever raced. I had the bla I just had a blast racing trucks. Yeah, I honestly do um, hope that they bring the trucks back in the near future, like as a part of the normal racing program. And, and just in conclusion, is, is there any shout outs or uh, thanks you'd like to give to people? You know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give a shout out to my family. You know, they, they work so hard uh, for me to be here. My race team, my whole race team's volunteer. You know, uh, Brian, Todd, and, uh, and Daryl, and my dad, you know, he's. He works the most on the car, you know. He uh, he does most of the work during the week and uh, uh, sacrifices the most. And uh, but if it wasn't for for that this group of guys I have, um, I would not be here. I wouldn't even been here the last few years. And uh, I'm so fortunate to have them along with some awesome sponsors. You know, TUI, uh, Airgate Aviation, American Aero Services, uh, all the restaurants here in town, Lost Lagoon, Mercs, and uh, All Terrain Tractor Service. Uh, you know, the, the list goes on and on. Uh, the Lake Doctors and New Smyrna Chevrolet has been huge. New Smyrna Napa has been huge, and um, but I, I'm just so fortunate to to have so many good people in my corner, and um, I, I couldn't be happier. All right, well, thank you for your time in doing this interview. It was nice meeting you, Zach Jarrell, everybody.